Hi there, welcome to the course. My name is Pablo Farias Navarro and I'll be your instructor. In this course, you'll learn to create a room scale experience where you are a giant dinosaur and you have to fight um, and throw things at these uh, other dinosaurs that are coming at you. So this is a lot of fun. You can tear buildings apart, you can go and destroy buildings and try to throw things at these dinosaurs. And um, this experience works with Steam VR compatible controllers. So that includes the uh, HTC Vive, which is the one I'm using now, but it also works with uh, Oculus Touch and other Steam VR compatibles of smaller manufacturers, as long as they can be mapped to Unity buttons. So that is pretty cool. Now, if you, um, if you don't have hand track controllers, at the end of the course, we are going to be adapting the experience to work with a reticle as well. So this will work basically on every single platform, whether it's desktop or mobile. Of course, the hardware requirements and uh, uh, are different on each one, but we're going to adapt it for so that everyone can play this uh, game. Um, something I want to mention is that please be careful when you play this game because it's very easy to hit things around you to to reach the walls in your in your room and uh, please don't hurt yourself. Be very careful when playing this experience. So take care of yourself. And now, well, let's go and destroy the rest of the city and let's go now and take a look at the learning goals of this course. Now, our learning goals. We'll be doing a lot of things in this course. So you're going to get very familiar with the Steam VR SDK. We're going to learn how to use the hand tracked controllers, how to set up your play area, different game settings and cameras as well that are involved in the process. But we're not just going to learn how to use this SDK. We're also going to see what Unity has in store for us to use natively. Unity actually will help us with um, quite a bit of support for OpenVR compatible controllers. This includes the HTC Vive and also the Oculus Touch. So you can make um, this work with Unity, uh, at least reading the input, the different buttons, without really using any external SDK. Um, we're going to learn different actions when it comes to the controllers, how to carry objects, how to throw objects, and we're going to build, of course, that full scale, uh, room scale experience you just saw. At the end of the course, we're also going to adapt that room scale experience for mobile VR or reticle based VR. For example, the Oculus Rift when you're not using the touch controllers. And um, that will be an interesting process because in a lot of our other courses, we do the opposite. We start with a reticle based uh, experience and then we adapt it for the controllers. Whereas here we'll go the other way around. So we'll build a room scale experience designed for the hand controllers and then we'll do our best to adapt it. And it ends up being quite fun as well uh, to a mobile VR or um, reticle based uh, v virtual reality. Now, a distinction I want to make, and, and I'm going to be repeating this a few times, is that um, I want to distinguish between OpenVR and SteamVR. OpenVR is an open source API that anyone can use, any manufacturer can use to create headsets that are compatible with this API. Now, um, this uh, the SteamVR is a runtime where OpenVR compatible applications can be executed. So that is the difference between both things. OpenVR is a standard and SteamVR is a runtime that you install in your computer and that's what allows your games to run. Now, everything you'll be learning in this course has applications way beyond game development. With these skills, you can build all sorts of training applications all the way from mining to healthcare, tourism, People are building amazing things with these technologies across the globe. And now you will be able to do it as well. So if you have an idea and if you haven't seen anything like that, it is a good time to jump in and start building things. In my opinion, this is a bit like learning HTML or web development in the 90s, where not many people really understood what could be done with the web. And those who did are pretty much today's billionaires. So. I'm not saying that is going to be the case here, but I think it is a great moment to start building things in virtual reality. And that is why I'm doing it as well. So when it comes to our courses, our main goal is always to empower people to um, make the best of their own learning style. We don't try to impose a learning style to anybody. Our courses can be viewed in whichever way suits you the best. Some people prefer to watch everything at once, like a Netflix show. Other people like to really pace themselves and watch a couple of videos a week. 
and uh, other people will spend more time in the in the source code that you download in the asset files so it is all really up to you and we strongly recommend people revisit lectures and uh, really plan for the success because if you set yourself a goal and you start working on your own projects you have really high chances of achieving those goals and of uh, achieving um, the creation of a game or an application so i strongly recommend you to start working on your own projects and learn as you go and and remember that you can watch these videos as many times as you want and you have lifelong access to all of the content. Alright, so thanks for watching this introduction. Without further ado, let's get started.